In the aftermath of the Second World War, a spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship led many talented individuals to attempt the production of their own vehicles. Among these ambitious pioneers was Munich's Michael Hoffman, who between 1949 and 1951 designed and built an extraordinary vehicle known as the Hoffman. This unique automobile was primarily constructed using hardware store and junkyard parts, a testament to Hoffman's ingenuity and resourcefulness. The 1951 Hoffman is a three-wheeled vehicle which, due to its diminutive engine and slow speed, was classified as a motorbike. This tax-free classification, which required no license to operate, was a significant advantage in post-war Germany. However, the vehicle's most intriguing mechanical feature is its rear-wheel steering, which contributes to its considerable width. The rear-wheel steering system is supported by a large rectangular frame structure that holds the entire motor and is pivoted at its forward end on a massive kingpin. A complex system of levers provides the steering, enabling the entire cradle to move from side to side in a wide arc. However, this innovative design comes with significant drawbacks. The extreme front track width, combined with an ultra-short wheelbase, results in major straight-line instability. Furthermore, the rear-wheel steering can easily cause loss of control at any speed except for very slow ones, a fact that any forklift driver can confirm. The central position of the steering kingpin leaves little room for the driver and passenger in the front. The original bench seat has been replaced with two smaller seats to allow slightly better access to the cramped cabin over the wide sills. According to Gottfried Gerhäuser, the restorer of the vehicle, the car's original asymmetric roof and windshield line was deliberately kept that way during the 1996 restoration. He aptly describes the handling of the vehicle as being akin to a drunk leaving a hotel bar. Despite its eccentricities and potential hazards, the 1951 Hoffman serves as a fascinating example of post-war automotive innovation. Its design, while unconventional and potentially unsafe, illustrates the reasons behind the myriad of safety regulations that govern modern vehicle production. The 1951 Hoffman is not just a vehicle. It's a testament to a bygone era of automotive experimentation and a reminder of the importance of safety regulations in the automotive industry.